So check it. You're polishing off your Nintendo Switch, got out your GameCube controller, ready to mess some people up. You trounce your friends whenever you fight them, and when somebody busts out Super Smash Ultimate at a house party, you're the one crushing people all night with people asking tips. You got a 12-inch dick and 10-inch long pants. You're smoking them until one quiet guy with glasses gets brought over by his friend. He's not saying anything. Hell, he's not even making eye contact. His friend bets you 20 bucks his friend will smoke you instead. You accept. You get creamed. Gross. Fucking destroyed, because guess what? This guy goes to tournaments. He doesn't even win tournaments. You get drunk and you start bitching to your friend, but guess what? You lost for one simple reason. I'm sick of excuses, and this is why you suck at fighting games. But Kuba Smash isn't a fighting game. Fuck you! You're watching shitty YouTube videos, so you probably know what a fighting game is, but just in case, fighting games are games in which you fight, idiot. 1v1 slamming against each other, you know that for a fact you all have that one friend who really knows how to play him, which is why you never bust out Tekken and Tag 2 when he's over, but you're drinking brewskis with the rest of the boys, it's a good time. Well, guess what? You? Yeah, you right there? You can be that guy. All you gotta do is... To be good at a fighting game, all you have to do is practice. What a concept, you jag off. But what is practicing? Oh, I know this. Well, I should just do combos right wrong. Yes, knowing combos in a fighting game is important, obviously. Otherwise, you're just gonna try to jab a guy to death like a toddler trying to fight his dad. Fuck you, dad. You got oaky setups, you got defensive options, you got situations, you got smoke by last tournament, so it's time to set up the bot so they do it, you can finally learn the answer. Bot? What bot? What is this lab that you're talking about? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up! Jesus. The lab is this little thing you probably missed while you're slamming on net play over and over. It's called training mode. It's got a bunch of settings and buttons and it looks scary and there's numbers everywhere and you failed Miss Coleman's math class so anytime you see a number you think about her and her scary ruler about to hit- I lost my train of thought. The lab is a place where you can practice your combo situations and defense. It's basically where you can practice anything you aren't sure of in a real match most helpful tool in the fighting game player's kit, but a lot of new players ignore it because it's not a tutorial. It's a toolbox, so you gotta use the tools yourself. The lab is not just a combo room. That's why in most fighting games there's a combo challenge. And then there's the lab. Are you too fucking stupid to read? I spoke to three of my friends who are all high-level fighting game players, and here's what they had to say. Ideally, you are spending at least two hours a day in the lab. This is coming from guys who have been playing fighting games for over a decade, but they all agree, you gotta play every day. And that's hard. I'm not gonna act like it's not, but next time you lose at your local, think about how you decided to smoke weed and goof off with your friends instead of labbing. It's impossible to devote your whole life to this when starting out, but I tell you this so you can correct your way of thinking. Competition isn't for everyone, especially those that... In fighting games, you're all alone. It's 1v1. You don't have your boy in top lane, your other guy on Mercy, and a goaltender in his dune buggy blocking out the TOD from the man with the op coming from doors. There's none of that. See, ever wonder why League of Legends, Dota, Counter-Strike, Overwatch, and Rocket League took off more than Street Fighter and StarCraft ever did? Because you. You right there. You gotta hold that L. That means you gotta accept when you lose. For real. I have a new drinking game for you. Take a drink every time you've ever heard a friend say, my teammates suck. Let's get scientific. Humans have something called loss aversion. Simply put, loss aversion means that losses feel worse than wins feel good. Feels great to find $5, but it feels terrible, terrible, terrible to lose $5. Humans are fragile, fragile creatures. I mean, look at Twitch chat, gross. We are a depraved, selfish, idiotic race who care more about ourselves than others. See, according to studies, all humans have a percentage of blame acceptance, but when given the option, people pass it on to others. I'm stuck in ELO hell because of bronze scrubs. There are no good tanks in plat. I would have blocked that goal. Can you do anything right? In fighting games, you got hit. You did. Derek. Fucking idiot. So you gotta take... People complain about things all the time in video games. Why are they just playing top tier? They're being cheap because I didn't know the answer. They tilted me. Boo hoo. You're in a competition. Act like it. Things go wrong. 
Ten minutes before my first match at Japan Saga, a meth head broke into my apartment and attacked my two roommates, and they were texting me to help them while I was 4,000 miles away. And I gotta hold that L. Nobody cares how you feel. Nobody cares how unfair you find the game. If you don't like it, go back to playing Shrek Super Slam with your little brother. Everyone is competing to win. If you play a top tier, that's great. You're living an easier life. If you're playing an off meta or lower tier character, you gotta work that much harder, but your wins might just feel that much better. You have to take responsibility for what you do wrong and how hard you work. And if you don't, you're just a clown. Now, don't get me wrong. Life happens to all of us. Shit will happen outside of your control. You're gonna suffer a loss someday that you shouldn't have. It's all about how you get back up. Are you gonna sulk and complain? Or are you gonna hit the lab and learn? It's up to you. So you've done it, you've labbed, you got your execution down, you labbed out the situations, you've taken your losses to heart without becoming a whiny baby about it, and you've done it! You've won! You won your first tournament match! Feels pretty sick, huh? There it is. There's the fun. It's work. But like anything else worth it, it's hard. You're gonna get incredibly frustrated sometimes. And you're gonna get tired. But all in all, you just gotta try. Because you might just have some of the most fun that you've ever had. And this, my friends, is why you suck at fighting.